Uh, thanks everyone for the lead in too, and thanks everyone for being here. So I'm gonna just uh, spend a few minutes talking about some practical points about um, building up uh, your press and your media list in order to help uh, bring more coverage and exposure of the activities that we're doing. And the fact that, you know, we, we actually are here um, my background uh, is in public relations and media relations, and um, I have served as the press secretary of both the Hawkins Walker campaign and also uh, the Nader Camejo campaign years and years ago. Um, and in my day job, I do public relations and media relations work. Um, so in terms of uh, building relationships with your local press, I mean, these are human beings, um, a, lo a lot of these reporters, even though we might dispute that at times. Um, so, so we want to talk with them. We want to actually help them do their job. They, they are workers. We don't want to ignore them, even if we get upset about some of the types of coverage uh, that they, they might do. Um, so it's really you know, trying to understand them and getting them to understand you and uh, building up mutual respect. So know who your local reporters are, research what they've done. Uh, when you send them a note, comment on their past coverage about this issue that, um, you know, you're interested in. Uh, applaud them on that coverage or, you know, make a constructively critical comment, but show them that, you know, you're reading their work, you're paying attention to their work, you're viewing their work. Um, and try to make those linkages with the work, their body of work um, and uh, the work that your local or state party uh, is doing. Uh, explain to them why it's why it's relevant, you know, and building that um, relationship with them, follow them on social media. Uh, and then, you know, if, if you're really local, invite them out uh, for coffee and talk with them about some of the upcoming projects and, and so on. You can offer them um, exclusives on some of uh, the efforts that you might be doing um, if it comes to that. But, you know, in order to do this, in order to invite them to coffee, to have conversations about what you and your party are up to, in order to offer them exclusives, um, you have to have newsworthy content uh, for them, you know, to help them do their job. It has to be newsworthy. So we don't want to barrage uh, reporters with non news. Uh, we don't want to put ourselves into like the nuisance category where immediately, you know, um, our, our emails and our, our press releases get put into their spam box. Um, but so we need to understand, you know, what is newsworthy, what's relevant, what isn't. Um, and this kind of, uh, you know, exploration by your chapter, by your local, uh, by your state, state uh, party, uh, that conversation will be helpful about what's newsworthy because if you're doing activity and participating in events that are relevant uh, for media to cover, um, then, then you're also going to be doing good organizing work that's going to in turn help build your local or state chapter whenever, uh, either way, even if the media doesn't cover. So if you're, if you're coming up with newsworthy events, it means, you know, people beyond reporters are going to be interested in, in what you're doing and, and should hopefully join in. You know, some of the goals of uh, this media coverage is that you want non-greens um, uh, to see you and your, your locals activities and understand, you know, what you're doing, the purpose of what you're doing, uh, the values behind it, the mission, and uh, you're doing activities that make them want to join in as well. Um, so that's kind of like the philosophical piece of things. It's also the practical uh, relationship building piece uh, with, with uh, your local press. Um, if press doesn't show up, take your own video and photos. Um, you know, put your videos of uh, the, the events uh, that you've captured onto a YouTube channel. Um, think TikTok, think Instagram, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, and if it makes sense, because you're not going to want to make a, a TikTok video of a press conference where there's like four talking heads. That's not the makings of a good TikTok video. But, you know, you want to pick the right medium for uh, the type of event you, you want to get coverage for. But, uh, you know, do self coverage uh, if press doesn't show up. And um, in today's world of social media, you can push it out that way. You can also send um, the e-news releases after the fact with a link to the video with, with uh, photos attached. And that actually, even after the fact, might um, generate more interest uh, when the reporter gets to see 
uh, visually what's going on. Um, and even if they don't cover it, then, you know, if you stay on their radar uh, with newsworthy activity, then uh, they will keep you in mind. Um, and eventually they may cover, they may cover you. So, um, you know, that's just very basic, uh, but I'm happy to uh, answer more questions. And some of you might think, yeah, it's pretty basic. I already do all that. I already know all that, which is great. Um, that's sort of 101, but I'm happy to dig in more if people have more specific questions. Um, and then I, I just want to talk about um, building a press list for uh, emails um, that you're going to send out. And it's not just press releases that you want to send, send out. You also want to do like and in case you missed it, post after the fact. Um, if you do a good event and you have great visuals, you wanna say, hey, just in case you missed this, uh, here's something that happened downtown the other week. Um, you know, If you have any questions, if you wanna talk about any of the impact of community about X, Y, or Z issue, um, you know, get in touch. Uh, we, we have those contacts. Um, so, so there are going to be a lot of different reasons. You're, you're going to want to email press you're also going to want to have a press list built up and, and be ready in case there there is some breaking news. Um, in case um, you know a, a candidate from the from the party uh, is coming into town, and you want to um, be able to quickly let let reporters know about that. Uh, so that press list, um, you know, you can do a number of different ways. There are um, actually software, different types of software you can purchase. Um, you can get uh, into partnership, I think, with other parties and locals or organizations in your state or region um, to collectively purchase um, the software, and that will help you to um, buy, uh, buy a tool where you can create a press list pretty, pretty quickly by doing a quick search and it'll formulate it itself. And I won't go into those nuances, but there is software out there. Um, but if you're gonna do it by hand, which um, is, is more time consuming, but um, you know, is just as good, I mean, make sure that it's updated. And the way that you make sure it's updated is by keeping up relationships with these reporters so that you know if they move to another outlet or left to pursue another career, and then you know who their replacement is. So by staying in touch and um, you know, just knowing who your local reporters are, that will help uh, keep your press list up to date. Uh, you want it to be relevant. You don't want to be sending a sports uh, reporter, something that you know, a political or, or environmental reporter should be getting. Um, and so on. So you so you want to make sure your Google search um, is is accurate, uh, and then uh, you know you may be able to pull people's emails from their social media. Often they'll put it in their Twitter accounts. Um, and speaking of that, you can also let reporters know about news events and activities happening through social media as well. It's not not just through email. Um, so that's, uh, that's just a, a very kind of quick overview of building up relationships, maintaining relationships, and the types of reporters, you know, I mean, I was schooled decades ago um, about public relations, but obviously today we want to expand uh, beyond print, beyond broadcast. We want to think about uh, radio. Sometimes that's a forgotten medium. And a, a lot of times, you know, public radios or uh, small local radio stations exist that can give you good coverage, um, as well as bloggers, of course, in, in social media influencers um, and podcasters are definitely uh, also good types of reporters who you want to include in your living uh, press list. Living means you're constantly updating and making changes to it. Um, so I can stop there. <laughs>